Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 52 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Falsebound Kingdom. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time to take on Merrick again. Hey Merrick, this is the end of the line! It's time you taste the pain you inflicted on so many others! Ha! I'll say this for you. It was a pretty good plan for a bunch of small-time thieves like you. But you must be running low on brain power if you think you stand a chance against me! Ha 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 ha! See? Can you hear it yet? Do you hear the heartbeat of the Great One? We can all look forward to an eternity of never-ending pain now. It's almost here! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, so Yami Merrick has the Egyptian god Winged Dragon of Ra. Okay, I don't think you really have to defeat him as Joey. But yeah, he's the only one there. It's a level 99 god card, though, so be careful. I think we'll converge everyone on Rest 6 then, right away. I should send Joey somewhere, like, around, because I would much rather him go last. Because if I send him first, then, you know, he could be screwed. Unless he retreats. And there's no sense trying to take those other territories. There are no monsters you can recruit here. In fact, we don't run into any wild monsters until the last mission of this campaign. Which is surprisingly not this one. Okay, you go over here. Personally, I think I would rather Taya take this fight because she hasn't had a... Well, she... She hasn't had a full battle with our new team yet, but we'll just go like a little pecking order. So this could be quite interesting. Why is your creature really does move fast? <laughs> Leaves a bounce out of this guy. Ha 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 ha! You can never defeat me! And I'll tell you why. Because I know that the Great One is real, and he's on my side. He's not talking about Dwayne Johnson, by the way. That's what he promised me, and that's what I got. Ultimate power! Behold! Alright, if you remember the anime, the Winged Dragon of Ra was summoned from this orb, and that only a certain incantation can release him. I believe it started with Great Beast of the Sky, Please Hear My Cry. And there were some internet rumors that you were only allowed to summon this monster if you used the incantation in a real game. Which, of course, is proven false because the Egyptian gods were obviously banned. Besides, who's got time to read that? Okay, now it's boss time. Inflict massive damage on all enemies. Okay, it doesn't have a special ability. Gotcha. So, let's do some heavy damage to it right from the get-go. It'd be pointless not to at this point. I don't think it has status cards. I knew the other gods didn't. Good, which... Oh, he got out of it immediately. We're not going to bother with healing, probably for the most part, because it's just going to be throwaway fights anyway. At this point, I'm just more concerned about doing some damage, so that the next unit can take him out quicker. Remember, even though it says it's a dragon, it's a spirit monster, so... Don't think that anyone with Sword of Dragon Soul is gonna wreck its ass. It's not gonna happen. Unless it's just a really good monster overall. Also, why don't I just use my regular attacks that they can also paralyze? Because, oh, it sometimes doesn't work. That's why. At least this will work. Is the guard broken, though? I don't think so. Oh, it was broken. Good. Also, why didn't I use my special? You know, at this point, Jostle might win this fight by himself. Weird that it's a level 99 Egyptian god, yet it still doesn't have max HP. I mean, look at its stats. It's been a little low. Compared to the likes of, say, Obelisk. 
I think Slifer is the best one because at least it's special, can lower everyone's attack. Kind of like what Orion can. The only way we're not going to win this is if we run out of action points. That's pretty much it. And that's a big reality. So rather than eat a bunch of attacks, let's just retreat. We'll still lose the fight, but if we let Ra attack us, we're going to lose anyway. Alright, Jussel, you did good. Time for you to pull back. Let someone else take over. I'm not... You know what? Fuck it, YOLO. Let's just let Joey do it. This can end up biting me in the ass. You're not wrong. But we gotta try. I mean, look, it's got 2,186 HP. It can only recover by way of just being in the base. That's it. Now it can't use its special on us or guard. So let's just let loose. Joey's such a great leader to pick up the bones. Okay, one more hit, it's over. Wow. That that was way too easy. We could have had time to take those other bases and we might have finished in, say, 15 minutes. Man. I think I should do another episode, like, uh, on the same day to make up for this. No! I've been tricked! None of it was true. What a joke. My great one is nothing more than a cheap imitation. Merrick, go ahead. Laugh. What a fool I've been. Leave me. Go and live life. At least until the real great one really does come. Oh, we get the Eye of Ra, so now we can summon the Winged Dragon of Ra if we want to. Invincible Imperial Guard. Wait, did I... Was that spelled wrong? News of Joey's victory over Ishtar soon spread to every corner of the Empire. Hardened by his success, Resistance fighters continued to pledge themselves to his cause and vowed to fight with him. But the Empire was not content to let this movement go unchallenged. To hunt down the Black Dragon Squad, Emperor Haishin decided to send his own invincible Imperial Guard. A confident Joey decides to face his new enemy head-on, but if he had only known who was coming, which, of course, he's referring to Kaiba. And we have to take everyone, apparently, because it's the last mission. Okay. Yeah, it is spelled wrong. It's spelled Invisible Imperial Guard. Okay, Konami, you kind of dropped the ball on that one. But in the next episode, we'll be taking them on. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.